Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can configure Selenium for Firefox and Chrome. So in one of our videos we saw how we can install it, uh, how we can do the basic configuration uh, in order to get our Eclipse project up and running with Selenium. In this session, uh, as I got a couple of requests for uh, showing the integration with Firefox and Chrome and also uh, creating some basic tests with Selenium. So in this video first I will show you how we can do it a uh, quick configure with Firefox and Chrome and maybe in another video we'll see creating some basic tests with get and uh, navigate methods. The thing is with Selenium 3.0 uh, we will have to use a Gecko driver for Firefox. So far till Selenium 2 Firefox was the default browser supported by Selenium but uh, from 3.0 we will need a gecko driver to be installed and also for chrome uh, which is as usual uh, we need to install a chrome driver and when i say install we just need to download it and set the properties in the system and we'll see how to do that so first let us go to google and go to selenium headquarters which is selenium hq this is the very first site from this place i'm going to downloads and when we scroll down in the third party drivers bindings and plugins the very first two plugins are the ones which we need here and you can see the list and it will tell you what are the different third party drivers you can use in order to automate the different applications like opera browser or edge which is uh, very famous and new for microsoft and for iOS and for Android and all that okay for now we'll go and download Gecko driver for Firefox it will take us to the Gecko driver page scroll down to the downloads where we will see the download as per the operating system so this is for Linux this is for Mac Windows 60, uh, 64 and 32 so what we will do is we'll just use the Mac one So once it is downloaded, I'm just going to copy it and keep it along with my other files where I generally keep the Selenium specific files. And all I need to do is just unzip this downloader. So once I unzip, this is the Gecko driver. And you can see I have a Chrome driver also already installed. I will quickly show it to you from where I installed it. So for Chrome driver again, just click on this place it will take you to the page where you can install latest chrome driver so click on chrome driver whatever is the latest version and from this place you can see other versions also 2.27 2.26 but always good to go for the latest one so click on this one and it will take you to the page where you can install operating system wise 32 linux 64 mac 64 and windows 32 now uh, don't get confused if you are on mac uh, windows 64 there is no driver as such separate for chrome driver windows 64 windows 32 chrome driver will work well for your 64-bit windows operating system so you can very well use this and if you are on others like mac and all you can use this one i have already downloaded and installed it and here it is this is the chrome driver and once we unzip it this is the one over here what we need to do is first thing we'll create a sample test case so inside a package i'm creating a class i'm giving some name as sample test and i'm using public static void main because i want to execute this class here itself first thing is we need to set the driver executable in the system so for that we will use system dot set property this one we need to use where we have key and value the key is for firefox driver it will be web driver dot gecko dot driver 
and value will be the path of the driver installer so this is the Gecko driver so I'll just right click and get the path of it we need to give the complete name so I'll copy the name also and as every statement in Java ends with a semicolon we will put a semicolon here also now this is on Mac but if you're on window generally the path comes with a backward slash and there is where uh, you will face the errors now the meaning of backslash is also as per the regular expression it, it is called as escape character and that is why it will start showing you error like invalid except uh, escape sequence now if you're in window to avoid this you can just put double backward slash double backslash so escape the escape character and treat it as a backslash itself so it will be the meaning of that so if you are putting the path on a windows operating system just put double backslash and that error will go away okay also for windows it is necessary to put dot exe at the end okay for mac operating system it is not required but for windows that is required and if you are missing to put that then you will also see some errors in that case so simple thing in the system dot set property we are setting the path of gecko driver and then we are good to work with firefox driver so to create the instance of the firefox driver all we need to do is web driver driver is equal to new firefox and java is a case sensitive language so make sure w and d is capital capital f and d is capital and this is the name of the driver you can give pretty much any name the error over here uh, it says that we have not yet imported the web driver from selenium files so just take your cursor over here and in the quick fixes very first fix will import it for you similarly here also so what it do it imported the web driver from selenium files and firefox driver also from selenium files and we are good too so what we do with the driver let us say we want to launch some website so uh, driver.get google.com and make sure we provide the complete including the HTTPS okay so driver.get and it will take you to Google uh, say just for visual purpose I want to add some weight here so we can use thread dot sleep and it is in milliseconds so if I say 3000 milliseconds it means three seconds it will dead weight over here and then it will go ahead and this is just for visual purpose when we execute this test case we will see that uh, the driver is launched and then page got navigated to this page and then we can close the page by using driver dot quit now the error over here is say, uh, it says that for the thread dot sleep there is an uh, exception which we have not yet handled so we can handle it by using try catch or we can handle it by adding a throws declaration so we'll add a throws declaration and we can use exception over here and for those who are new to Java understand it in a way that we are using a particular method from other class in this particular class but the method when it is written in other class it has been specified that this method throws some ex exception and that exception should be handled or at least it should be declared in this class and that is what we are doing we are not handling it here if we would have handled we would have handled it with a try and catch block but we are not handling it we are just saying that we have used a method which might show some exception okay so don't go in much of the details of this uh, as far as uh, the very basic of Selenium is concerned here we are more interested to see how we can set the properties 
for the Geekoo driver and launch the driver here and when I say launch the driver it will actually launch the Firefox browser and then once it is launched it will navigate to this side and we will wait and then we'll close so to execute the test case all we need to do is go to sample test case and run as Java application or you can run it from this place also right click and run as Java application or you can see this runner run from this place run as Java application and it will start executing so this is Firefox it went to Google and it closed as simple as that all this red is not error these are the default logs by a gecko driver so let us see the same thing for uh, chrome one process is very same we need to set the chrome driver in the system properties so let me comment this out instead of gecko it is chrome so web driver dot chrome dot driver and the path of the chrome driver executable so I kind of put both of them on the same path so this is chrome driver path at my system for your case wherever you kept the chrome driver executable you can put it uh, you can take the path of that place this was the instantiation for Firefox driver for chrome it will be web driver and you can use any name driver is equal to new chrome driver and after this point okay we have not yet imported chrome driver so just take the cursor on the error and it will give you some quick fixes from which you can use the first one import chrome driver from selenium same thing for chrome also we have set the properties for the chrome driver then we are launching the driver going to google and waiting for some time for visual purpose and then we'll close it so just run it from this place this is the page and it's closed after three seconds so that is how you can configure for firefox and chrome and in the next video we will see some basic methods like writing our first test cases with selenium with the gate and navigate methods so thank you so much for watching this video